It's important to have caring adults who are engaged in the lives of their children. Our next lightning talkers are early learning systems leaders, Susan Barbeau from Project Child Success and Sam Whiting from Thrive Washington. Your turn. Thank you. So, hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Susan. We are not pig snout. No, not at all. I don't know who it thought we should follow right, pig snout. Exactly. Uh, so we are here to talk about uh, early learning in the local community here. Um, so I'm from Thrive Washington, which is the state's uh, public-private partnership working closely in partnership with the Department of Early Learning to do system building work in our state. And we also fund and support the 10 early learning regional coalitions in the state, one of which is in Pierce County. It's called First Five Fundamentals, led by Susan Barbeau, and many of the people in this room are involved in it as well. So we call the early learning movement in um, Pierce County Project Child Success, and so I just want to give out a shout out to all of our partners. If you are a Project Child Success partner, can you raise your hand? Thank you all for being here today. So one of the things that we um, talk about is we get the question, what is early learning? Um, this is something that you hear more and more often, um, and a lot of times people immediately think of preschool. They think of three and four year olds sitting on a carpet with little crayons and chairs and maybe doing story time. And while that's a piece of it, it can be, it's much, much more. So it starts with healthy brain development. The brain goes faster in the first few years of life than at any other time. And the love and experiences that children uh, have during those years shape their success in school and their long-term health and happiness. But not all starts in life are equal. The opportunity gap can be seen before a child's first birthday. And our work as a state and locally is this. How do we build a system that helps all children grow to be successful? So the question then becomes, what is the recipe for healthy brain development in children? And the answer and the key ingredient, it turns out, is actually us. It's adults. The most important thing that a child needs in their life is a loving and caring relationship with adults who surround them with experiences. Like Clay so eloquently said this morning, we need adults who know children's sparks that can foster that. And while we think that all and hope that all children have that, it really is not always the case. Families have significant circumstances that are difficult to make parenting sometimes. So to understand this better, uh, let's see what it means for families. The, uh, the Economic Policy Budget, Council, uh, Budget Institute uh, says that Pierce County families need to earn at least $70,000 to attain a secure yet modest standard of living. Uh, and that is just for the basics. So let's compare that with what families actually make. A third of families in Pierce County like, make less than $50,000 a year and 20% make less than $35,000 a year. If you notice, the top line item on here is the cost of child care. And that is not optional for most families. 57% of families in Pierce County have all parents in the household who are working, which means that their children have to go somewhere, and quality really matters. So I can tell you from personal experience, I have a toddler, and my husband and I recently had to find child care for our son. It's very difficult, and it's very, very expensive. It costs more than our mortgage does. So I'm blessed that I can afford to do that, to pay a second mortgage, but what about a third of families that can't? So given that child care is such a big expense for families, uh, we need to make sure that it's accessible, affordable, and also that it's of high quality. This year, the state legislature passed the Early Start Act, which really uh, focuses on boosting the quality of licensed child care and giving families information about the quality of the care that their children are receiving locally. By focusing on and promoting quality, we help families make informed choices about care and we help providers focus on child development by having the support and resources that they need to offer the best care possible. We're grateful to all, for all the state and federal dollars that Washington State receives, but we're not investing enough in early learning in these critical years. Economists tell us that high quality early learning is one of the best investments we can make, and yet it, we know that it increases graduation and employment rates and decreases crime and incarceration rates. It also decreases the need for special education services and public services, yet we spend a small fraction of public dollars to give our children the best start they need. Instead, we're spending most of those dollars remediating problems we could have prevented. 
So this is what Project Child Success is all about, and I loved that Clay called it a movement, because that's what we're trying to do, is create an early learning movement here in Pierce County. Um, we really want people to come together around this idea of supporting adults, so supporting parents and child care providers so that all children get what they need to succeed. There's over 70 community partners that do that on a monthly basis to come together to listen, to learn, to share. Um, and on your tables, there's some more information about um, Project Child Success and for ways for you to get involved. And just know this, that there are no barriers. We want everyone to come because it takes a community. So what you're building here in Pierce County is very unique. It's the kind of robust partnership uh, that every community needs to support children and families. If you don't see your logo here, please get involved. Let's make this so small you can't read any of them on the screen. <laughs> So we'll end by sharing something that was said uh, by one of the child care providers who serves children just down the street. We know the needs of our communities can seem daunting to address, but that shouldn't stop each of us from taking a lead in some small way. It's our individual acts that cumulatively make a difference. So we'd like to end with a challenge to you. It's really simply this. If you can do anything today to change your world, what would it be? And we're just going to take a quick selfie. Yes, time for a selfie. <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.